<laughs> oh no. There you go. Okay, let's try that again. This is Alex Schwartz from Absurd Joy, also known as the co-founder of the studio behind Job Simulator and Rick and Morty VR. Today, we are showing how Alex helped us build a bow and arrow mechanic by providing some tips on how to make compelling VR experiences. Welcome to the Prototype Series, a group of videos in which we explore creating small projects combining different Unity features. For a longer training session on this project, you can find a link for a course from Unity Learn in the description of this video. We reached out to Alex because we wanted to build one of our prototype projects using Unity's virtual reality capabilities, while also having an experienced VR developer to guide the process. The initial idea that we came up with was to use the XR Interaction Toolkit systems to build a shooting arrow mechanic. You know, it's good that we're doing something, you know, relatively scoped and, and smaller, like let's just build the interactions for a bow and arrow, for example, because I think people really um, want depth of interaction in VR, having something that you could pick up and you could play with and uh, bring close to your face and also kind of feel and um, I think that's going to be more interesting and kind of more indicative of what uh, is cool about VR is getting things near you and feeling and, and touching those in front of you. So in order to get started with the development process, we decided to use the VR beginner project as a base for our prototype. This project includes several systems that can get you up and running with virtual reality. The first thing that we did was to place the XR rig prefab from it into a new scene to have access to the VR device head and hands tracking. After importing models for the bow and arrow, we added the XR grab interactable component to both of them. This component makes any object follow the hand position while the grab button from the VR device is being held. Specifically on the arrow, we chose the base as the attach point for the interaction, meaning that every time we grab it, it moves and rotates according to that point. The next component that we used to make the arrow get attached to the bow was the XR socket interactor, which basically snaps any interactable object that is placed within a trigger into it. So we created a notch object as a child of the bow with the socket interactor. At this point of development, we needed to make a creative decision on how exactly the pull arrow interaction would behave. Yeah, we had been discussing the concept of like, well, when you're pulling with the bow hand um, and moving it back, you know, are we constraining that motion to a single axis or does it allow for, you know, adjustment in the depth and I think it's going to come down to feel, but there's there's a lot of times when uh, my intuition was incorrect about how it would feel, like when it comes to things that are generally locked to a single axis. So, you know, I, I think of something like that, almost like pulling on the handle of a drawer, um, a physics-based drawer in any kind of uh, experience you're building in VR. It's like, well... I know that it's on a track and so seemingly it shouldn't be able to shift to the left or right and doing physics constraints is always really hard. Um, you know, I think it's kind of a mix of giving good feedback, having a moment through visuals and audio and haptics that you know whether you're still doing the thing or whether you've broken from it. We decided that locking the axis for the pull interaction would be the best approach. And we did this by setting a start and end point for the pull movement and only moving the socket interactor on that range. We also used the position of the socket to be a point in a line renderer that would represent the bow string. Then we used the on select exit event from the hand interactor to release the arrow and add force to its rigid body. This was set the basic logic for the main game mechanic, but we still needed to enhance the gameplay experience. Arrows are generally going to be fairly thin and moving very quickly. And so, and maybe like made of wood, therefore brown-ish and blending in with the background. So, you know, I like to try to think of visual effects as solving a problem. So if it's like a visibility problem, something that gives you like a visual identifier that it's moving at this speed in this direction, the yeah the other like juicy bit i think would be 
whatever it hits should probably react with uh, like a physics um, impulse. So if it's going to attach to some object, if it's, you know, can move or shift or be on some hinge or something, um, that'll really make it feel like your your arrow had weight to it and it had mass and it was moving at a high speed. Um, if it just hits a wall and smacks there, it might feel a little like um, dampened. With some of those enhancements implemented, we shared the project with Alex to get his general feedback. The arrow trajectory feels good. Like where I expected it to shoot is where it's shooting. It's like I just hit, you know, four in a row on that one lantern, which is good because usually you'd need like a ton of tweaking. I think it should snap into the bow without having to let go of the arrow. So if you're holding the arrow, it should just do it like positionally, it should snap in once you get it in the right spot. And then you're already pulling the bow at the point. So you don't have to pick up, let go, pick up, and then shoot. It'll make it like one seamless motion. Alex had a great point here. There were too many grab and release interactions to actually shoot the arrow. We fixed this by basically forcing the hand interaction to release the arrow near the string and then immediately activating the pull interaction. The other modification we made was to attach the arrow spawner as a child of the VR camera, making it so that the player can grab new arrows by reaching over their shoulder. We also made it offset its position depending on which hand the player is holding the bow. As a final touch, we added some extra particles and visual effects to some of the interactions like hitting the lantern and pulling the arrow string. And with that, the prototype was finished. We would like to give a huge shout out to Alex and the Absurd Joy team for the incredible support and feedback during the development process. If you want to try out this prototype yourself, you can download it by following the link in the description. Not only that, but we also have a link for a longer training session showcasing the features used to build this on Unity Learn. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.